Okay, this Saturday, the UH Rainbow Warrior football team opens up its 2016 season at home against the Skyhawks of the University of Tennessee Martin. The game kicks off at 6 o'clock sharp. So what is the best time to get there, and where should you park? Sarah Madison gets some answers tonight on what you need to know if you're planning on heading to the game. Sarah. Howard, I spoke with the stadium manager about what's being done this year to manage the traffic in and out of Aloha Stadium. I learned one thing they're doing is giving UH fans a reason to get to the stadium, stadium earlier. Football season has arrived. That also means slow traffic in and out of Aloha Stadium on game day. Officials say they have no control over the nearby rail construction and its impacts on traffic. But what they can do is entice people to come early or stay late. Turnstile Gate 7 will open earlier than normal at 3.30. Stadium officials are doing this so that people can enjoy the newly added entertainment and activities. We are expecting a really good crowds for this season, um, so we really kind of wanted to focus on not just for um, making more of like a family fun zone area. The biggest change you'll notice is the transformation of North Plaza. This is the North Plaza where all the new activities are going to be held. Under this tent, we're going to have painting and rides for the children, and across from them will be a beer garden for adults, of course. ESPN 1420 will be streaming live during the game on this rooftop. Skip the traffic, come have some Simon with us. Um, ESPN as well will be doing their post-game show, so we'll have that all tuned in and you can get fed and then be on your way. Other changes include additional parking attendance at Gate 3. The Aloha Stadium Swap Meet and Marketplace will still start at 8 in the morning, but will end earlier at 12.30 instead of 3. There's also increased security. We do have additional um, HPD um, that we have here as well as our sheriff's department and of course we do have all of our security on staff. And don't forget about alternate parking. Parking is five dollars or less at Radford High School, Cam Drive-In and Leeward Community College. Radford is the only one that does not have shuttle service because it is fairly close. Everywhere else is about within that two mile um, radius, maybe three. Check out our website at khon2.com for details about the newly added North Plaza activities. We will also have a map you can check out before heading out. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News.